Big Kitty is black. Here, bring you another Let's Get Scared Daylight. And uh, it lived up to the Let's Get Scared uh, title. That's that's for damn certain. And hopefully, it will load without an issue. Yeah, it did this time. So. What the hell's happening? That wasn't nice. What is with all that? We'll come back into just. I don't know. Like, uh, I don't even know what to say. This game is creepy as hell. Attention all employees. Last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to the section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency, de emergency department, and he passed away in transit. In the hallway behind the records room uh, security door, to avoid this uh, type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch location within the record uh, records room stacks. Are you kidding me? Are you there? Is that? You guys see that, right? Is that something? I don't. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Making some horrible noise. Oh God! So much reading. All uh, attention, all employees. We understand that it is difficult to make it outside on your 10-minute breaks. However, just because the uh, the record room has large uh, and room is large and has high ceilings, does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously, and climbing over them to serve as lookout. Be advised, this is not a gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. As it probably shouldn't be. <laughs> what? No. And no. And no. Uh, concerning Mrs. Daniels' suicide. Mrs. Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There is a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss uh, caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Mrs. Daniels' body was uh, transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Oh God! Come on! Oh. Hey. More. Mid Island Hospital is one of the most logical, influ uh, uh, locally influential, and medically profound places in our city's history. Yet few people know how important uh, its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1950s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Okay. Hey, creepy woman. Where'd you run off to? Something over there. Anything over there? No. And no. Oh god, the atmosphere of this entire game is just daunting as hell. Just makes you want to yeah. Kipling citizens accused crimes. Sixteen year old Gur allowed to live admits guilt. Is condemned to hang evil. Aspita open to deal with spread of disease. Okay. Oh. Stop! Stop! Um, yeah, stop, you bitch. Too much pain and suffering. And from those who seek only solace. What ails you, Sarah? 
nothing and everything. Perhaps truth is really pure, never simple. Am I going the right way? Oh, I don't think so. There's something here. I'll get that. Well, on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty. Moriarty. Sherlock Holmes about? Notice patient 90D standing in his uh, room in a uh, agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this. Okay. <laughs> recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Oh, are you kidding me? And then there is the hospital as it stands today, abandoned and referred to by the locals as Crow Island yeah, for its ominous bird population. The hospital and the island it sits on are now more synonymous with rumors about curses and hauntings. There is hardly a youth in New Kipling who does not entertain the rite of passage of sneaking into the abandoned building. And the stories they concoct about hearing voices, smelling cigar smoke, or even seeing women's shadows wandering the halls always have done little to preserve the reputation of this once life-saving pillar of our community. I don't like any of this. This does not bode well. And some more notes to be read. Patient 90D. Psychiatric ward. Uh, ward report. Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. Uh, he spat blood all over her and yelled something, uh, some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seems high-strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Okay. got quiet. Why'd it get quiet? It got quiet. I don't like that. Let's be out of the dark make you feel better. What you the fuck? Was that? Nothing makes me feel better in this game. It's horrifying. And I do not like it. What am I supposed to do here? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Climb it. Thank you. Climb that. You. I really wish I had found a flare. They uh, protect me from what I was told from this horrible, horrible crap. That is probably about to fuck me up right now. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, the button, right? Yeah, the button. I really hope... Meh. Shut up. Saving content. Okay, well, at least I... At least there's that. Oh! A picture. I don't know what you're talking about, you crazy bastard, you. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, don't start already. Thank you. Oh my god, what was that sound? I don't know. Why'd I throw that? I really didn't want to. Open. Open! God damn it, what the hell? Just ha- What just happened?! Is anyone else seeing this? Let's get your- <sighs> Okay. The hell was that? That was a crazy ass glitch. I used to save like after I had done all that craziness through the warehouse. Okay. Alright. Okay. Why are you such a dick when you load? I don't like that at all. Past one. Picture. Gotcha. Do your bonds transcend time matter? Okay. You're crazy. Another picture. Lots of people. And your blood is thicker than water. You hear me that? George, there's something going on down in the boiler room. I keep hearing things move around. Blah, blah, blah. I swear it ain't rats. It's something bigger. I don't know uh, what yet, but keep an eye out when you're down there, Adam. No. Oh, open. Thank you. Of course, it's not dick there. Oh, don't be a dickhead. I'm going to turn around it's going to be right there, and I am going to be so pissed off. <sighs> History of New Kipling. The citizens of New Kipling began, uh, begun performing spirit cleansing rituals on the nearby mid-island in order to keep their town pure from the dark time. Little factual evidence has been discovered about the nature of these rituals, but after the clean, uh, cleansing took place, New Kipling announced that the city had been reborn. You can suck it. Yeah. What was that? Like I said, you can suck it. Fuck you. In the ass. Why? What the hell are you doing to me, game? Give me that. <sighs> History of New Kipling. The village of New Kipling traces its roots to the mid 1600s. The rich fishing source, allow, along with easy access to trade routes, Drew early settlers to the to the village. Get off me, why am I stuck? I can barely see. Yeah, it's hard to see. Let's go up, I guess. Oh, oh what the fuck? You bitch! I can't go anywhere. Yeah. That scared the crap out of me. Anyone else? Anyone else? Cause it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, Miss uh, uh, Eunice Goodman gave patients a stuffed bear as a toy without permission from do uh, patient's doctor. Miss Goodman has been thoroughly reprimanded and was reassigned away from the child's ward until further notice. That's real nice. Stop it. Just a phone. Don't do that shit. What is that? And why? Oh, come on! 
again. What the hell's going on? I don't have flares. I don't have any. Can't remember, but it seems familiar. Of course, I just... It was just here. I don't have any flares, you dick. Oh, I do. Thank you. Give me that. Okay. Electric... Oh, but they're different. I should probably read them out. Anything to fight you with. Here. Anybody there? Yeah. <sighs> Patient 27C suffers from an obsession with mazes. Compulsive behavior has driven him to draw mazes all over his cell. Having run out of space, Patient turned on himself, carving an elaborate maze into his own flesh. Completely enveloping his chest, parts of his back, forearms, upper arms, and upper thighs, and even parts of the buttocks and genitals. Patient restraints via straitjacket and placed in solitary confinement. Nice. Yeah, nice. No. I don't have any lit flares. Fuck you, you bitch! Burning with anger, they reflect your disdain. Awesome. Unfortunately, there's nothing for me to do because I don't have any way to defend against them. Open. I just need to find these damn remnants. <laughs> oh, fuck you! There's nothing I can do about it, I just gotta run. to a dead end. Of course, of course, of course, of course. It's down, I guess. Nothing? There's nothing down here? Is there anybody in there? Uh -oh. Ah, fuck right off. Oh, I have no more flare. I have no more anything. This is gonna suck. Is what it's gonna, what it's gonna do. Where are you, you bitch? You gotta come kill me, cause I got nothing. I got nothing left. 
I got nothing left. Here's a threat meter. I don't even know what it does. That's startling. fucking aware. Adam, I think uh, I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me and then it disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm putting in a transfer request. Probably a smart idea, buddy. Cause like, shit be going crazy. Ooh. I guess I can just check stuff. <laughs> Patient 27C. Patient inexplicably died overnight. Body was discovered by the nurse this morning in preparations for electroshock therapy. Body was transported to the morgue. Cremation scheduled for this evening. No kin to notify. Well, that sucks. Piss right off. Piss right off. <laughs> You're bullshit. You're bullshit. Bullshit. Are you... Really? I found her there. Oh, come on, bitch! Come on! Ah. Well, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. There it is. Uh. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't understand why I can't find any damn flares anywhere. And your blood what? Am I just suddenly not able to move? Another glitch? Man, this is just... going crazy on me. Why is this all of a sudden... I don't get it. Whatever. Well... We'll try again. I got a little bit further, and we'll figure out if I'm really just stuck here and need to restart and actually find some flares. That'd be swell. Or uh, if I can actually do this. So yeah, it's been Cadius Black bringing you another Let's Get Scared Daylight, and it's kicking my ass. As always, have yourselves a good one. Bye-bye.